Welcome to the 2021 Artists Association Auction and Gala. It is such a pleasure to see everybody's face here tonight, uh, to enjoy to enjoy the uh, cocktails out on the lawn, to see Mario and Erica working. You give me the thumbs up when I just am perfectly in tune. I think we're good. How do I sound? Do I sound great? I'm Courtney Bridges. I am so lucky to be the executive director at the Artists Association of Nantucket, and it is just my pleasure to welcome you here tonight. Uh, as some of you know, I'm a former first grade teacher, so I can't help but to tell you exactly how the night will go, and then we'll, um, we'll begin with the celebrations. Uh, you'll hear some remarks, and I'll give you more details on that when we wrap up the night. All right, without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Nellie O'Gara. She is our board chair and has been our board chair for four years, 14 years on the board. Uh, sh she is always steadfast on our mission, making sure that what we do at the Artists Association really resonates with fostering the visual arts. And she helps us make those decisions across the board through our educational programming, through our interaction with the artists, and the facilitation of the permanent collection. And so this is Nellie O'Gara. Don't leave me yet. <laughs> I want to say a few things about Courtney as well, but first of all, welcome. Where's Lori? We love the floor, Lori. <laughs> I have to tell all of you that back in, I think it was December or so, Lori and I started talking about what we were going to do for the gala. How are we going to make it different this year? Could we even have it? What? Thank you. Um, could we even have it? And I think it was not until June that we even knew how many people we could have in this room. But I learned a long time ago that when Lori Champion wants to help us, you just step back and you follow that force because she's the one who put this whole night together. And I do want to uh, also say a few words about her conciliore, and that would be Scott Peltier. Thank you, Scott, for everything that you've done. So I know that this past year has been a hard one for all of us, some, some more than others, and I thought we might just have a moment of reflection for some of the people that we lost this past year. I'd like to to cite a few names from the Artist Association, Phoebe Evans Day, George Thomas, Carrie Hallam, Paul Jensen, Faith Cooper, our good friend Chuck Getchke, and my good friend Tom Gregg. And for all of you who remember loved ones that you've also lost, let's just take a, a moment. Thank you. So when I started to put my thoughts together about this evening and what I would say to all of you and how I, how I could pack in so much in, in a few brief moments, I reminded myself that things have changed and some things will never be the same, but there are a few positive experiences that we at the Artist Association took from this last year and I'd like to share some of them with you. First of all, we learned to embrace technology. Prior to COVID, one of our board members came to me. Where is Lynn? I've learned everything I have from Lynn. <laughs> and Lynn said, you know, Nellie, we need to be thinking about refreshing our website. We've got to make it easier for people to sign up for classes, for people to buy our artist's art, for people to donate. Well, by February of 2020, that became a major challenge. We were shut down. We had no gallery. We had no ability to sell our art. And our board members stepped up and rose to the occasion 
And we have embarked on what we call our digital strategy. Tonight, I want to thank Bob Miklos, who is an artist member and a board member who guided us through an incredible process. And the numbers speak for themselves. Since last year, we have increased our art sales 141%. We have returned commissions to our artists of 126% more than the prior year. We have online classes that a thousand different visitors attended since COVID. I think our digital strategy is working. I also want to thank Patty Keneally who led our educational programming changes. And we've seen more students this year than we have had in the past. So thank you, Patty. <laughs> One thing I will say that we've been able to do is expand the reach of the AAN. We had our first sale to Singapore in the spring sweeps. <laughs> and why wouldn't we? We're open 24-7, 365 now. The other thing we learned is that art is therapeutic. At each of our board meetings, Courtney comes to us with what we call a mission moment. That mission moment helps ground our decision making. And recently she shared one with us about a firefighter. This firefighter attended a class that was offered by Zoe Markham online. And he told Courtney that it was the first time since the pandemic that he'd been able to relax. We have offered a program called Healing Through the Creative Arts that's been funded by the town of Nantucket, a big grant. We've had three firefighters, eight nurses, and 15 teachers attend at in the past several years. So with 275 artist members and growing, we are committed to making intersections among them occur more often. This is the second year that the Nantucket businesses are offering our art in their display windows. So we have art on Main in new gallery spaces. And finally, we continue our collaboration with the NHA. If you haven't seen the exhibit, the Anne Ram Ramsdale Congdon, it's a great example of how our artistic director and their artistic director and our chairman of a permanent collection, Pete Steingraber, have worked together. Finally, we have learned to take nothing for granted. We're fortunate to have many donors who believe in our mission and participate in supporting us through annual fundraising, through events like this, through buying of our art. We could not be all that we are without you. And we know that we have an obligation to use your donor dollars responsibly. This year, we will be embarking on a new strategic planning initiative that's going to be headed up by board member Barbara Stern Burke. We're blessed to have her with us. She brings a lot of talent from her days at McKinsey. In closing, I just want to take a moment to thank our very talented staff who are standing in different places around. Thank you so much for being able to address the many changes, address the confusion that it often occurred, and to pivot our business model. And I want to especially thank Courtney Bridges, who's inspired all of us to do more than we ever could. She has established a culture of achievement with her staff and the board, and we run every day to keep up with her. Thank you all for coming this evening and for sharing in the support of our mission. I feel privileged to be a part of this community. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nellie. I think you can all see um, how lucky we are to have Nellie and her excellent leadership at the helm of the Artists Association. So thank you. Tonight, of course, is made possible by all of you, and I just want to take a minute and say thank you. Thank you to our table hosts for bringing everybody back together tonight, for believing in AAN, and for getting excited about coming out with us. Thank you. 
We also have a few amazing business sponsors, Pure Insurance, RJ Miller, who always sees me in and out of hair and makeup. So grateful. White Heart Design, Nantucket Radio, which is part of True Island Digital. If you guys see Daybreak, that, oh, those are the people. Um, and then our very good friends over at Workshop ADP. I'm happy now to introduce my good friend, Lee Malazzo. He is an art dealer, a amazing gallery owner of Samuel Owen Gallery, and he puts the fun in non-fungible transactions, <laughs> tokens. That's why we're all here. It's to learn about the true NFT. Uh, Lee. Thanks, Courtney. That was awesome. So on March 11th, 2021, this year, uh, a digital artist by the name of Beeple sold an NFT at Christie's Auction House for $69 million. I'm going to say that again. A digital artist whose name is Beeple sold an NFT, a non-fungible token, for $69 million. That's insane. Well, that's what I thought. I thought it was completely insane. I mean, I'm in the art world. It's all I've done my whole life. And to hear that, um, I had to know more. Um, so uh, the first question was, who's Beeple and what's an NFT? <laughs> uh, then I remembered back in 2019, I had a booth at Art Basel in Miami and one of the artists that we represent uh, was there and he came up to me and he said, Lee, check this out. He pulled out his phone. He said, um, I created my first NFT. It's going to drop this week. And I said, whatever, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> sounds great. He's like, no, check it out. It's this, it's this NFT. It's a video. It moves around. It's on the blockchain. And I said, no, seriously, I have to get back to like selling real art. Uh, it goes on the wall. I, I can't be bothered with NFTs. So when I heard about the Beeple sale, um, he was my first call. And I said, Daniel, you've got to explain NFTs to me. We spent probably two or three hours a day on the phone because he had been doing this for two years. Um, and I just, I st steeped myself in the world of NFTs because I, I had to know what, what this was. Uh, and of course, like anything, the more I learned about NFTs, the more confused I was. Um, so... When Courtney asked me to do this talk, um, you know, I just assumed that a lot of you probably didn't know what NFTs are. So show of hands, who here owns an actual piece of art, like a painting or a drawing, right? Don't be shy. All right, this is the Artist Association. I hope you all own a piece of art. If you don't, we're auctioning some off later. Um, <laughs> how many of you own an NFT? Right? One. So one. That's actually more than I thought. So what's that? I didn't know this was going to be so interactive. What's an NFT? It's a non-fungible token. So <laughs> I'm going to get to that. Uh, hang in there. So... <laughs> Um, so an NFT is a new form of art, uh, which is cool because we're, we're witnessing the birth of a new form of art. This is the moon landing, right? This is the invention of refrigeration. This is electric cars. This is uh, the television. Uh, this is like if Courtney tomorrow called the, all the artists from the Artists Association and said, guess what, guys? I invented a new color, Right? Now, I know there'd be like one or two people that would go, mm, I'm good with red, yellow, blue. I don't need a new color. But that's, that's what NFTs are. It's an invention of a new art form. So I, um, I spent nine hours in a car with my 90-year-old dad. And uh, I felt like I had a good handle on what NFTs were. So I, I field tested this by explaining what an NFT was. And the best way I could do it was by telling him a few stories. So I have three quick stories that I'm going to tell you about NFTs or, or try to explain NFTs to you. Stamp collecting. So my wife used to work at a stamp auction house in New York City. 
And uh, I used to help out. I would go in, I would help with the auctions, I would uh, you know, just help set up the auction. And I learned a lot about stamp collecting, and I learned a lot about the auction business. And once I got a handle on what an NFT was, I immediately realized that NFTs were like collecting stamps. So if you're a stamp collector, let's say you live in Ohio, you get the catalog and you circle the stamp that you want, and you get on a plane, you fly to New York, you go to the auction room, you sit in the auction room, you raise your paddle, you bid on the stamp, you win the stamp, you go to the registrar, you pay the registrar, they give you the stamp, it's in a little manila envelope, you look in, yep, that's the stamp, put it in your briefcase, fly back to Ohio. Right? Simple. So the first time somebody explained it to me like that, I was completely confused. I said, I, none of that made any sense. So hopefully the uh, stamp collecting analogy made a little bit of sense. Is uh, or a new process is created or invented, the knee-jerk reaction is to not like it and not want to learn about it. Um, it would literally take me six months to teach you what an NFT is. I only have like 10 minutes, so I'm trying to give you the, the, the cliff notes of NFTs. Now, hopefully this third one will shed a little bit of light on it. Or in my opinion, will make you feel, well, when, when I had this conversation with my 14-year-old, it made me feel old and dumb. <laughs> so my 14-year-old is a gamer, and he plays a game called Fortnite. And Fortnite is a video game where you play against your friends online, and you have a character, and that character just shoots all the other characters, and if you're the last one alive, you win. And a big part of that game is the outfits the characters wear. And the characters are called avatars, and the outfits they are wearing are called skins. So I asked my 14-year-old, I said, hey, Ellen, do you, uh, do you know what an NFT is? He goes, no, don't, never heard of it. I said, well, it's kind of like uh, your avatar in Fortnite when he has a rare skin, and you can sell that rare skin to somebody else and make money. And he goes, oh, I got it. And I was like, and then there's this platform where you can buy and sell it. He's like, dad, I got it. <laughs> and what I realized is anyone under the age of 25 understands NFTs without any explanation because they've been living in a, uh, a, digital, meta, a digital metaverse. They were born with a USB plug in the back of their head. They, they just understand digital art. Um, so I hope that kind of explains a little bit about what an NFT is. It's also, um, it's what people value, right? So we value paint on canvas, right? A sculpture, something that somebody made with their hands. But NFTs are digital works of art that live on a blockchain, uh, which just sounds weird. Doesn't it, You can't hang it on your wall, you can't hold it, you can't touch it. Um, but, uh, it, which, which brought me to think, how, the guy that bought this Beeple NFT for $69 million, why did he spend $69 million for this NFT? And I thought it was really fascinating. Um, the, the Beeple NFT was called Every Days. So Beeple's an illustrator. He, in 2007, started doing an illustration every day, a unique illustration, and posting it on his website. Uh, every day and people started following him. They subscribed to his newsletter and and they just wanted to see what he was up to then Instagram was created and He posted one of his illustrations every day on Instagram So he created his first NFT. It was called every days. It was 5,000 days worth of illustrations in a, in a mosaic and That sold for 69 million dollars they interviewed the guy who bought that NFT, and they said, why did you pay 69 million? And I thought it was fascinating. It was bought by a company in Singapore, and the owner of the company said, the reason he found value in the piece was because the only thing you can't hack is time. 
which I thought was so cool. The only thing you can't hack is time. This is a, he's a, he's a programmer. He's, you know, he's got a tech company in Singapore. His whole life is spent in front of a computer and you can't fake this digital piece of artwork. This guy had to work on it. He started it in 2007 before an NFT was invented. He, he learned about NFTs, created it. Christie's thought it was interesting enough to put it up at auction. $69 million. People, by the way, is now considered by Christie's as one of the top three most valued artists next to Jeff Koons and David Hockney. So there you go. <laughs> so now, I feel like when something like this happens, when a new art form is invented, which I wasn't around for the last art form to be invented. We're lucky. We're like we're like we're living the future. And the fact that we're, I'm, there's, I'm in a room full of art buyers, art collectors, and most of you don't have any NFTs. You don't know what an NFT is. Um, that's exciting. That's really exciting to me. Uh, all right. How about two quick fun facts about NFTs? Jack Dorsey. Founder, co-founder of Twitter, he created an NFT by taking a screenshot of his phone of the first tweet that he ever posted, which was, quote, just setting up my TWTTR, which I guess was his abbreviation for Twitter. That didn't catch on. Uh, that sold for $3 million, right? Um, Okay, okay. All right, you only get one fun fact. Uh, <laughs> so so let, me, let me wrap this up. <laughs> so I, I want to talk about, let's just quickly talk about why we're here. We're here because we support the mission of the Artists Association, which is to support local Nantucket artists. And Courtney was amazing. Thank you, Mr. Commodore, and thanks again to the Great Harbor Yacht Club for hosting us here tonight. As Lee mentioned, we have our very first, Nantucket's first, very exciting NFT for auction, along with a few other classic works for auction over there. Uh, the silent auction is something extra special, and just for those of you here in this room, so I thank you, please look at that. We've got a bidder, Lee. Thank you, Lee, thank you so much. I think we all learned a little something. Along with that silent auction table, I encourage you all to look at the back of your program for tonight. In the back of your program, there is a QR code that takes you to our silent auction online. And online, we have over 75 incredible works for you to uh, fall in love with there. Uh, including a beautiful piece by Ellie Foley, who is here in the room tonight. So a lot of work that can't be missed. It is my pleasure to now introduce a very special guest. If you have been to the Artist Association Art Auction and Gala before, this will be a familiar face, leader of the organization for 10 plus years, Cecil Baron Jensen, who will be honoring Lynn Nicholas tonight as a special guest. Cecil, thank you. Surprise, Lynn. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Woo! Woo! What a 
a great, great thrill it is to be back under the tent for the gala. Thank you so much for including me tonight. As usual, I have written my remarks, so excuse me for looking down. It is my pleasure to be here tonight to celebrate the Artist Association, our incredible artists, WAVE artists, we love you. And the ever wonderful Lynn Nicholas. <laughs> Lynn recently reminded me how she originally connected with the Artist Association. It started with a conversation with Penny Shear. Penny, are you here? Penny, being a very good steward, of the art organization was encouraging Lynn to apply as an artist member. At the time, Lynn felt like she was too new to painting. So she demurred, saying she wasn't ready. Penny, in her in infinite wisdom, told her that the Artist Association looks for emerging artists. Lynn was flattered to be called an emerging artist and took Penny's advice and submitted her application and the rest, as they say, is history. Lynn's impact on the association has been nothing short of extraordinary. Her joy in making art, but even more, her skills in making friends and connections has found a receptive, and grateful home at the Artist Association. Early in my time as executive director, Lynn and I went out for lunch, and she asked students, master painters and printmakers, ceramic artists, skilled teenagers, and young enthusiasts wanted to, but more importantly, needed to, have, to, needed to be able to make art in a dignified and spacious building. Lynn's enthusiasm for art is infectious. She loves the process of creating. As she says, it's like being in kindergarten. She throws marks around her paper or canvas and then cuts and pastes, putting everything back together in a new and fresh way. Nick, her darling husband, said, when she begins painting, it's an adventure with an unclear destination. When is it complete? Probably never. Her eye spots something that may not resonate and she makes a change. Then he said, maybe that's a metaphor for life. It certainly is, Nick. Lynn and I would agree that if you, we, we would 100% agree with you that the opportunity to grow professionally and artistically and even as a human being, is what makes art so darned interesting, and why education is central to the AAN mission. Ultimately, Nick says Lynn's paintings convey a lot of energy and emotion, and I would add passion. Thank goodness for Lynn's passions. It has led us all to wonderful places both real and imagined. Cheers to you, Lynn. Congrats on being tonight's honorary artist. Thank you, Cecil. A big congratulations to Lynn, her beautiful work right here, Dream On. Now, without a delay, the man who needs no introduction, our favorite auctioneer, Raphael. I, I feel sick.
Good old man. Wow. Well, um, I, I was going to start by saying a great thank to um, Cecil, who uh, came before um, this great pandemic, and her challenges were huge. And what she did for the Artists Association is tremendous, and you all know that. So um, uh, I don't need to tell you that, but we owe her a great debt of gratitude for all that's done. And uh, I hope you're doing well, Cecil. And then Courtney took over. And holy cow, there's a damn pand pandemic. What the hell did we do with a pandemic? Well, she figured it out. And she kept us vibrant, and with the help of a lot of members, uh, we figured out how to do it. Oh, she figured out how to do it. She's the champ. So uh, a great deal of gratitude to Courtney, and a smart sign from here on. Um, so I didn't get a chance to see. I, I know 80% uh, of you. And I wish I would have come here at 5 o'clock and, and had a chance to touch you and hug you like I normally do for 30 years. So uh, I'm, I'm all glad that we're all here and, and we're still passionate about our art. Uh, so whether it's in bronzes or paintings, tonight it's all about paintings, photography, and these great, great talent that we have here on the Nantucket. Um, so we don't have 60 things to sell today. We only have 25, but I've got to tell you, each and every single one is something that you want to have in your house. Do you want to have a photograph of, of Grey Point Light? Uh, do you want to have a realistic painting? Uh, so tonight, I want you to bid, regardless, regardless of anything else, Regardless of your friends at the table, because I know how that gets glitchy. So, this is no time to make friends at an auction, especially when we're trying to raise some funds. And this is the one and the only time that the artists have to give a painting to the Artists Association, and most of you know this, but for the three of you that do not, I have to tell you this is highly important. Because these paintings that are five, seven, ten, fifteen thousand dollars, all goes to the association, so they can buy the pencils and the crayons and the brushes for seven hundred children that are learning the art that sooner or later you will be bidding on. So uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful time to be here, and uh, only because it, this is a very passionate moment. So. Oh, Michael, how are you? <laughs> so anyway, so here we go. And so I, I wish I could have sat with every table because I would have spent an hour with you. But um, Gail and I had a chance to sit over there with Mr. Shapiro of Nantucket Radio. Did you guys ever hear of this guy on the radio? Oh, only seven of them heard you. You better talk louder next time. Anyway, um, what a what a wonderful Nantucket guy. Anyway, so here we go. So I'm glad you're all here, and uh, I hope you have some space on your walls, because this is what it's all about. I have some wonderful friends that have a wonderful mansion, but it's all windows looking out into the world of Nantucket. Where the hell are you going to hang a painting? Anyway, oh, not you. No, no I'm talking about somebody else. Okay, here we go. So, are you ready? Yes? When was the last time you bought a painting? Six months ago? Raise your hand. Yes! It must have been your... Yeah, the other guy, the auction. Yeah, never mind. Uh, okay, so, here we go. So, um, here's the first item that we're going to put up for bids. So, back up a little bit more. There we go. So, you have a program in front of you. And this is the first item going up for bids. This is Caroline Walker. And this is entitled uh, Tuppence. Uh, your thoughts. 
I got to tell you, I know Tut. No, no, thank you. I don't like hats. No, no, no. It dries my hair and then I lose it. So I don't do it. I don't do that. Anyway, again, uh, pretty. Well, where is it? Would you come up here? This is uh, Bobby. Anybody know Bobby Fisher? Bobby Fraser and I have been, and, he, and he's in charge of the permanent collection. So if you have folks have 1930s, 1950s Nantucket art, you know, you want to, or any Nantucket art, you want to contact Bobby. He is building the most impressive and important Nantucket collection to be had. And he and I have been up here uh, in bad times, good times, in no air conditioning, in crappy situations for 35 years. So this is Bobby Fraser. All right, let me, okay, go, 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 go by, Bobby, get out of here. Yeah. Okay, get out of here. Okay, he told me he was going to pay me $500 to talk to me. So, okay, Metcalf, Dan Perry Metcalf, uh, boy, mid-century, mid-century, $3,000 for it. $3,000 for it. $3,000 for it. $3,000 for it. now $3,500. I $3,500, now $3,750. At It's up in Pioneer, that's the thing. 
I'm going to be great counselor. I'm going to be great counselor. Like, what? What? Who are you? Hey, counselor. But they're triple their impact. And Lizzie Collins in here. Uh, all of our favorites. Somebody give me a $3,500 start, please. $3,500 for it. $3,500 I have now $4,000. I have $3,500 to so I have $4,000. $4,000 now $4,500. $4,500 now $5,000. I have $4,500 to the ladies big to I have $5,000. I have $4,500 to so I have $5,000. I have $4,500 to lay your $5,000. I have forty five. This is the one you put over the mantle in your new home. $45,000. $5,000. Where's $5,000? 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 Where
We have five thousand is over here now fifty five. I have five thousand dollars away at fifty five. I have five thousand dollars on my right going once. I have five thousand dollars in twice. Fair warning now. If you can't paint it, you better be on it right now. So five thousand dollars over here. If I tell you, all right. Here's item number five of the program. David Lazarus. Is David in the house? No, he's a, he's up north, right? He's up. David is here. Where? No, you're not David Lazarus. Hold on a second. David's not here. Okay. So, anyways, so somebody give you a four thousand dollar start. Four thousand, forty-five hundred, now five thousand. Five thousand, six thousand, now seven thousand. Seven thousand, now eight thousand. I have seven thousand dollars, then eight thousand. I have seven thousand, eight thousand is on the front table. Oh, that's important. Nine thousand dollars, now ten thousand. I have nine thousand dollars, then ten thousand. Ten thousand, wait, eleven thousand. I have ten, eleven thousand, my buddy. That's close. That's you. I have eleven thousand for the new house, four hundred four thousand. I have eleven thousand dollars going twice. I have eleven thousand dollars. We're gonna have more for this. Come on back. Twelve thousand dollars. Now thirteen. I have twelve thousand dollars going to thirteen. I have twelve thousand dollars going to thirteen. I have twelve thousand dollars. Educated for the children, engraver, strip show artist, and fabulous painter. I have twelve thousand dollars going once. Twelve thousand dollars bid twice. You all. $13,000! So I want to tell you something. So we have a $12,000 opening day. On, on all of these paintings, please understand that wherever you put this, over the mantle, in the den, in the dining room, this is going to look 50% better than it does right here. Right? Especially if you have the right fabric for the room. But anyway, that's what I'm going to You can talk to Laurie about that. But anyway. So, where are we? 12,000. Anybody give me 13? Only one? 12,000 dollars twice? Are we sure? What? He's 13? Who's 13? Raise your hand. You're 12? You don't look a day over 39. 13,000 is in the back. I have 13,000. You get a chance to get a big round of applause for 13,000. I have 13,000. What? Five, ten, one. So, 13,000. No! Young lady, can you give me his number? What's his number? Faith is number 141. 141 gets paid $53,000. All right, oh boy. Barbara Capizo. So, when Barbara Capizo came out with her silhouettes of personal homes on the pocket, that was the rage. She must have sold thousands. And here she is again. Uh, and of course, uh, so here we go. North Wharf looks like. Wharf the reflection. And it's in acrylic on canvas. And somebody give me 1,000 for it. 1,000. 12 and a half. Now 1,500. I have 12 and a half. I have 1,500. Now 17 and a half. I have 1,500 over here. 17 and a half. Now 2,000. 2,000. Now 2,500. I have 2,000 big 2,500. I have $2,500. Hello, Michael. $2,500 I have now $3,000. I have $25 away at 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 $3,000. I have $25 
Yes. Thirty-five hundred I have in our four thousand. I got thirty-five and four thousand. Gee, what are you doing so far away from Michael? What is it? Thirty-five and what? Thirty-five thousand. Now fifty-five hundred now six thousand. I have fifty-five hundred dollars away of six thousand. I have fifty-five hundred dollars away of six thousand. I have fifty-five hundred dollars away what? Fifty-five hundred dollars going twice. If you want to help the audience associate, you can go ahead and bid because she has a paddle up. She's not going to lose this. I got fifty-five hundred dollars twice. Last call is fifty-five hundred dollars. Congratulations. $55. Okay. Uh, Michael Rich, September Dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, you can have this any way you want. This has all the colors in every possible room you can have. This is a very, very important purchase to have. You can put it in your room, any way you want. All right, but it's going to cost you five thousand dollars to go. Five thousand and now fifty-five hundred. I have fifty-five, six thousand, fifty-five is over here. Do I have six thousand? I have fifty-five over here. Do I have six thousand? I have fifty-five. Do I have six thousand? It's your turn. It's your turn. Come on back. I have fifty-five hundred dollars. Do I have six thousand? I have fifty-five hundred dollars. What? Uh, oh boy, that's a very personal painting. I don't know. I would say six thousand. I have fifty-five going twice. Last call. So fifty-five hundred dollars. One forty-one. Wow. Oh, here's the ninth offering for this evening. And this is Bobby Fraser. You said a clap, he's right here, you know. You said a clap. Go get you out of the parking lot, my boss, if you don't clap. So, uh, this is Smith's Point in the harbor. There we have it. And somebody give me 2,500. 2,500, 3,000, now 3,500. I have $3,500, now 4,000, now 4,500. I have 4,000, now my left way, you're 4,500. I have four thousand dollars for you, forty five hundred. It's your turn. You can get forty five. Thank you. Forty five hundred I have and now six thousand. Six thousand now sixty five hundred. I said you said that before. You know, you have to shake your head like this. If you do like this, you get headaches. This way it's even slow. Okay. I got six thousand dollars, sixty five hundred. I got six thousand dollars. Oh, Michael's gonna pitch in and I'm going to see you. I got six thousand dollars. What? Sixty-five hundred now seven thousand. I said sixty-five to seven thousand. Would you step over that way? Thank you. Sixty-five hundred to seven thousand. I sixty-five over here going seven thousand. I sixty-five to weigh seven thousand. I sixty-five. How about sixty-six? No. I sixty-five. What? Mike says it is. It's seven thousand. Hurry up! No, the paint is drying. Quick. $6,500. Thank you very, very much. So $6,500. Can I see your number? If you want one of those dynamite blue hats, you can show me your number. Number 98. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 So, would you uh, show it this way? He's already seen it, so don't spend too much time on this side. We'll go that way. So, Michael Dyer takes the box camera out into the wilderness and he puts a hood on it, you know, like the old 19th century guy. And he waits and he waits and he waits. This is not digitally uh, tweaked or in any fashion, shape, or form. You know, and he could stay out there for hours for the right moment. And then when he shoots it, damn it, there's not a little, tiny little pinpoint on the lens that just blew in. Shit, he's got to take it off and he's got to sit there again. And it may not happen that day. He may have to come again. So, 
This is a 19th century, 21st century hero of photography. So, here we go. And I don't know what the hell this is. Why did you leave this in? Well, wait a minute. So, one thing I want to point out is, do you see the moon up here? Right? What the hell is this? What the hell is that? White bucket. You know what that white bucket is? It's a piece of paper on the grass. This is the rarest piece of paper on the grass that you guys will ever buy. Okay? So how many of these? Is this in the series, Michael? This is the last in the series. There's been 1,234 souls. This is the last one. So, uh, seven, nine, nine, nine. Oh, and this is the artist proof. So we all like things that your guests are going to really love and appreciate and, and welcome seeing in, in the new home that, that they're having cocktails and dinner with. So this is a very unique thing. There's uh, not very few cocktail parties that you're going to come across this and see it twice. Did you guys hold it up about three feet? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? What's your name? This is Alexander O. Page. Okay. All right, here we go. And somebody give me $8,000 for the Michael Dyer, please. $8,000. And he waits for days and days before he goes, click. $8,000 I have. $9,000 I have. I have $9,000 on the Android. $10,000. I have $9,000. $10,000 to $11,000. I have $10,000 to $11,000. I have $10,000. 11, 12, and now 13. I have 12, and now 13. I have 12. Uh oh, this is bad news. The wife is convenient today. I got 12, 20, 13. I got 12, 20, 13. I, have, I think you're in a good position here because I don't think the women have come over. I got 12, 20, what? I have 13,000. That's a smart thing. I have 13,000, and now they're 14. I have 13,000 dollars. Show me the old hands here. Thank you. Stop right there. Hit the top down. Hit the further, further. Okay. Fourteen thousand is what I'm asking. I have thirteen thousand dollars going. What? Four. That was a thousand dollar tip. You see that? I got fourteen thousand dollars and now fifteen. I have fourteen. Do I have fifteen? I have fourteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars and now sixteen. I have fifteen thousand dollars. Do I have sixteen? I have fifteen thousand dollars going. What? Sixteen thousand now seventeen. I did, I'm just just letting you look at it and embrace it and think what that's gonna do every time you walk into your board. I have fifteen thousand dollars going what? Anybody over here? I have fifteen thousand dollars said twice and fifteen thousand three in the program. I have fifteen thousand dollars sixteen. Oh we had sixteen? Oh you have to be seventeen. You have to be seventeen. 17, now 18. I have 17 and 18. This damn thing's gonna get $20,000. Where are you? I got 17 to I I got 17 to I 18. I have 17 to I 18. I have 17 to I what? Oh, come on, where's 18,000? Show it that way, just in case. I got $17,000 going twice? Oh, come on. This is for the Artists Association. I got $17,000 bid twice. Do I want to Printed, so seventeen thousand dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Whitney Crab. Ladies and gentlemen, $3,000 for Whitney Crab. $3,000. $3,000 I have now. $3,000. I have $3,000. I have $3,000. I have $3,000. I have $4,000. I have $4,500. 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 I have $
I got a ton of money over here. How do I know? The way that holds me out, because it wasn't like a lot of money. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What? Nine thousand. Who's my nine thousand dollar bill? Back there. I got nine. Hold on. Over here. Nine is here. How about ten? It's a well in the picture. Oh. Man. I should have said. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. I got $10,000. Going for it? Oh, my God. No receipts at this point. $11,000. $11,000. Oh, my God. I got twice. Tell me you don't like this guy. It's a good time to get 12,000. I love it. Last call is fair money for a fabulous underwater photograph. Are we done? Say yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. God, how many hats do you have already? Good together. Oh, good. We all know who this wonderful artist is. The world is paying for the And here we go. I must see a thousand paintings and pictures around the entire day with painting paintings. Two thousand I have now, twenty five hundred. I have two thousand dollars for every three five hundred. I have two thousand dollars for every five hundred. Twenty five hundred dollars for every three thousand. I have twenty five hundred for every three thousand. I have twenty five hundred for what? Three thousand dollars for every three thousand. Twenty five hundred is my little letter. So let's challenge this. I got thirty five hundred for every four thousand. Thirty five hundred for every four thousand. Twenty what? $3,500 to see up on this side, so what? $4,000 now, $4,500. I pulled away $4,500. I pulled, what? $4,000. Oh, what? $4,000. I pulled away $4,000. Where are you going? Oh, what? I pulled away $4,000. 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 Here is Greg Hill. What do we say? Greg Hill. So, uh, Greg Hill has been dead for most of his life. And it shows. So, uh, from the Hawaiian painting to wherever he comes, and especially in the next few months. Greg Hill, I want to mention to you, is the only living artist. So this is the title Sun Fall, which we know all about. And you're trying to come back to the air target and all the things like that. You can't get in and you can't get in and you have to see the game. Anyway, so there it is. A lot of the excitement here on the water and uh, smooth sailing for the fox honeybees. And somebody needs six thousand dollars to start the great hill. Six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, and now nine thousand. I have eight thousand dollars for eight nine thousand. At the same table, the gentleman without the jacket has got more money. I got eight thousand for eight nine thousand. I got eight thousand dollars for eight nine thousand. I have eight thousand dollars for what? God bless you. I got eight thousand dollars. God bless you. Let me tell you. I got eight thousand dollars twice. $9,000 that I have out there. I got $9,000 for $10,000. 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 I got $
I have nine thousand dollars. Number one, nine thousand dollars. Big price. Think about it for a second. I'm turning this way. Are we all through? And only nine thousand. Let me remind you that you have the temperature virus baby. Ten thousand dollars. I have $10,000 to pay on it. I have $10,000 to pay on it. What? $10,000 to pay on it. When you're finished, I'll take you all very much. So, $10,000. Don't take it. Thank you. 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 So are you number 18 on the offering? Are you number 18? This is entitled Sending Up Sun Sparkling Water. It's an old on camera. And when I started uh, 35 years or so on selling art, the Andrew brand was not part of the association. But uh, I've been so touched by by her talent and how quickly uh, she has gotten to this level. I'm going to show it there. Maybe I'll show it because that's one of her best years. Uh, but so if, if you don't have the privilege of being on the bow of a, a sailing vessel, this puts you there. And but the quality is so good. But anyway, I, I, I just want to say congratulations to you and the lady who does this. And if I had to say the most good artist in the last five years, she would get all of the trophies, all of the trophies, and this is just the beginning. So anyway, so here we go, and thank you for donating this to the big sale, and somebody give me $3,000 for it. 3500 I have now, 4000 I have $3,500 for you, $4,000 for it. Uh, $4,000, I have now $4,500. Thank you. 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 I have six thousand dollars going twice. You'll be happy to have it in your home. All said and done, six thousand dollars. Good morning. So six thousand dollars. And what's your number? You have a number. Thank you. Fifty-three. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Let's go to the next one. And this is item number 19. We're getting down to the end. Julia Masikola Vinny. After the storm. And someone say $4,000 for your one. $4,000, $4,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,000, $5,
Corrupt the day called ours. A little beat. But you have to buy her art now. I'll tell you why you have to buy her art now. Because when she discovers that there's windows in houses, <laughs> wow, wow. Hey, here we go. And somebody give me a six thousand dollar lucky day. Six thousand, I have six thousand. I have six thousand dollars for that day with the weather seven thousand. Seven, eight, and now nine thousand. I have eight thousand dollars for the weather nine thousand. Shuttle it back and forth with the weather seven. I have $8,000 for $9,000. $9,000. You are very smart. Man. I have $4,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 for $9,000. Seven, eight, and $9,000. I have $9,000 $12,000 for my now 13. I have $12,000 for my 13. $13,000 now 14. I have $13,000 for my now 14. I love you, you're here. 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 I love $16,000 now 17. Nothing. $16,000. There's eight bidders on this. I have $16,000, $17,000, $18,000, and now 19000 What did I say? I got $18,000. I have $18,000. I got $16,000. Right here. I have nineteen thousand dollars and the next bit is put it down. I have nineteen thousand dollars the way it is done. We have twenty thousand dollars. No, where are we going? Huh? Okay. I love you. Oh yeah. I got twenty thousand. Let's go twenty-one. I have twenty thousand dollars. What? Twenty thousand. Eleven thousand dollars. How many Canadian dollars do you have? Ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. I got twenty one thousand dollars for twenty two. I have twenty one for twenty two. I have twenty one. Did you ever sell a painting to uh she's in Montreal? Toronto. She's my girl to Toronto and she did spend it. But I have twenty one, twenty one. I have twenty one thousand. No. Okay. I have twenty-one thousand dollars twice. Anybody want to say twenty-two? Especially the wrong one. You don't have anything like this up here. You don't have no. You already have one. Oh, you're so lucky. I have twelve of them. <laughs> Not this big. I don't have them this big. But my wall space is kind of tiny. Are you sure you don't want to take twenty-two? You sure? Okay. You going once? Going what? Same way? You want to paint another painting like this for her? No, no. no. She's a wonderful kind girl. Thank you very, very much for being here to dinner. So, for $21,000! Thank you so much.
gentlemen, our honorary artist tonight, please. I thought I'd sing something for you. <laughs> no, but I, I'm very touched and very grateful to be honored tonight. And I'm even more grateful for the enthusiasm and the support that you all have given to the AAN. You can probably gather from tonight, from what you heard from Cecil and Courtney, that the AAN is the mind and the heart and the soul of Art on Nantucket. Uh, so many of us have emerged, including many of the, uh, the painters of 
worse than are selling, <laughs> almost like NFTs tonight. <laughs> and uh, so I'm just going to finish by saying congratulations to Courtney and the staff and the board and all the artist members of the AAN who brought the organization through this last year in great shape. Well done. <laughs> Well, Mr. Ben, thank you so very much um, for being a past officer of the Artists Association and true artist to find everything else that we do here, helping everything else. So this is this is just a, a little symbol of every time we look at it, we know about a great person that has created how they and it's a damn good artist. So, Ben Nickel is here. Dream on! You can look at it, and then it takes you there. Wherever you want to go. So let's go $3,000 street. $3,000, $4,000, now $5,000. $5,000, you got $6,000. dollars you got $6,000. $5,000, $6,000, you got $7,000. You got $5,000, $6,000, you got $7,000. You got $6,000, you got $7,000. I got $6,000, you got $7,000. You got $7,000. At seven thousand dollars, now eight thousand. At seven thousand dollars, now eight thousand. At seven thousand dollars, the bar right now is eight thousand. Eight thousand dollars, now nine. I have eight thousand dollars, now nine thousand. I got eight. You were going to say nine thousand, would you please? No. I got eight thousand dollars, now it was. I got eight thousand dollars, so it's twice. Last call, eight thousand dollars, we award you. So they got a great power. Really high, eight thousand dollars. Uh thank you. So uh what do you got on that here? Thirty. Thirty. So so thank you all. What? I don't know, that's not my business. Where is the thing on the NFT? Where is the thing on the NFT? Hold on. So thank you all very much. Thank you guys. I just need you to put this up. So I had a question from the gentleman. The NFT is only up to six hundred dollars. So if anybody wants to bid on it, you can let me know right now. However, so shh. So uh, I spoke briefly, and everybody did about our past two years. And um, well, and all the volunteers. So please, she is not going to waste a nickel of your money. So I want you to please be very generous and donate to fund the future to a wonderful, wonderful director that we have. God bless you all. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you. Well, Raphael, thank you. Bobby Frazier, our artistic director, what an amazing curation of artwork tonight that we all got to enjoy. So thank you, Raph and Bobby. Funding the future. I love how Raphael said that because it's exactly what I'm here to do to round out the night with you guys all right now. You know, in these difficult years, uh, or year, I guess, a little over 12 months it was, we were pushing really hard toward this digital strategy that Nelly talked about before. It was our mindset and our strategy, and we were ready to go. And sometimes I felt pretty nervous about it because it was a risk. It was risky. But we had to take risks, and we had to move forward. And I thought...
Um, our friend Chuck Geschke, who took so much risk when he started to go digital. And every time I needed a little courage, I really and truly, I thought about Chuck. <laughs> and it's just so nice to have Nan here with us tonight, to have all of you who have supported us and held us so well during this difficult time. And so tonight, and you all did, we got to celebrate, and that was really special, and I am grateful for all of the support you gave. You know, Nellie kicked us off with a mission moment, and I want you to think about that first responder. I want you to think about the artists who are living here and working here and making this beautiful art. Art is what makes Nantucket truly special. It makes it a special place. And the Artists Association is the galvanizing force that keeps the artists and the art on island and vital. And that's what I need your help with tonight. You know, there's a lot to look forward to at the Artists Association. We are going digital. We have a beautiful visual arts center with room to grow. And I hope that you'll support me tonight as we fund the future. Now, I'm going to make the fund of clouds easy on myself. There's just going to be two choices. Um, so I will first ask for those of you who are willing and able to support us at the $5,000 level. I want you to think of it as a way to give back to the AAN. Thank you, number 96. Thank you so much. Thank you, number 20. Thank you for supporting us at the 5000 level. 165, Bruce Benny, thank you so much. 149, thank you, Nick. 158, thank you so much. 168, thank you. Thank you so much. That is a really generous contribution, and we are so grateful. And like Raphael promised, we will do right with, the, with that support. Um, the next level, the last level, and also I encourage you to just scan the QR code on the back of your paddle to check out with ease. Um, it's the $1,000 level, so I hope that you will raise your paddles and fund the future at $1,000. Thank you so much. Please raise those nice and high and I'll read off your numbers. Woo! Woo! 26, 51, 24, 55, 32, 10, 5, 9, 30, 48, thank you so much, 27, 64, 95, thank you, 100, thank you, 103, 43, 38, thank you, 106, thank you, Lisa. 142, 109, 111, thank you, Candy. 127, thank you, Barb. 41, 167, thank you. 197, 162, 151, thank you. 147, thank you, Elliot. 174, thank you. 205, 210, 200, 193, and 169. 